Hello guys and welcome back here to another season at South Shields. We will be kicking off our second season here in the championship. We will be taking on Brighton to kick it off. But of course, before we get into that, let's go over the players that have left the club and the players that have joined the club and we'll go over the preseason and how I think the season will go for us this year. So, let's just go over here to the players that have left the club. Starting off, Craig Guteridge has been sold to Crew Alexander for $40.5,000. Craig was going to be our third choice striker, and instead of keeping him around, I decided to move him along um, as I felt that was the right thing to do, no reason to be paying him to sit in the reserves and have him complain about not getting first team football. So with this time with us, he made 92 appearances and getting 34 goals along the way. He was fantastic for us a couple seasons ago when he had 38 appearances and 20 goals back in League One. Uh, and then the next year, he kind of dropped off just a little bit um, in the season we got promoted from League One. And then last year in the championship, he only had four appearances, and then we loaned him out for the second half of the season. So good luck to you and your future, Craig. Good luck at Crew. You'll be back in League One where you had good times before. Maybe we will draw Crew in a cup match or something and have a return to Mariners Park for him. Next up, Ben Fox has been loaned out to Macclesfield. Ben is one of our Youth Academy products. He made three appearances for us um, and loaned out to Gateshead the second half of last season. And we're going to loan him out for the entire year of the season. Macclesfield are down in the National League. It'll be good for him to get experience and he's also been capped at the under-19 level for Ireland. Hopefully he will move up to the under-21s this year and get some more international experience. And then lastly, we just loaned out Ben Wagstaff. He is loaned out to Lincoln City. I believe they are in League 2. Yes, they are in League 2. Ben was going to be our third choice inside forward on the left-hand side. Uh, so we decided to loan him out for the year instead. Uh, depending on how he develops, it might be his last season with the club, but that depends on his development while at Lincoln City, as he's still a young player at 21 years old, so we'll see how that goes. And switching over to the players that have Join the club. We have Rosario Gasco joining us from Arsenal on loan. He is going to be our starting left-hand side inside forward. He looks to be a very good young player. He was with the U19 Italian team and the U19 European Championship in the summertime, so he hasn't had a lot of preseason action for us but he looks like he's going to be a key player for us this season. Next up, we have Gordon Barris. He is our backup left back this season. He has some very good physical and mental attributes, and his technical attributes are fairly decent as well. Uh, as mentioned, he will start off as our backup. Miles Kinlock will be our starter to begin the year but that could all change depending on how his performances are this season. And then lastly, we have Curtis McPartland. He is a backup center back. He is a young 19-year-old who we picked up on a free. He spent the beginning of his career at Dungannon in Northern Ireland. Uh, I believe he will be getting called up to the U21s for the Northern Ireland international team this year, and hopefully we can help him progress and develop a little bit. Uh, and he should be getting some game time this season, as he is 
a fairly good young looking young player. And then we will take a look at the players that we have released from the club. Uh, nothing really to note for us this year. Just some young youth academy players. Sam Richards, he did make two appearances for our first team a couple years ago when we had some injury crises. He had one appearance in the National League and one appearance in League One. Uh, we also, Neil Thorwell had a couple appearances as well, another left back. He made one appearance in the National League and one appearance in League Two. He was our very first academy player that appeared for our first team. Unfortunately, he never really developed. He was unambitious. So he never really developed f like we would have liked. So hopefully he can have a change in his personality and get picked up by a club and make something of himself. That is our team news, at least for now. I am looking at a couple of players potentially to get in on a loan. But we will have to see how that pans out. Switching over to our preseason, we had some very good results along the way. We started off the preseason with a friendly against Manchester City at home, and we fell to them 2 0. Leroy Sana getting the goals for City in the that. And then we took on. Queens of the South and got a 6-0 victory over them. Very, very professional performance from us there. And then we faced off against Liverpool at home and we got a 1-1 draw against them. Absolutely buzzing with this result. We had the lead and they got their goal in the 74th minute. I was hoping we could pull out the victory over them, but getting a draw against a Premier League team, especially a club of Liverpool's stature, is absolutely fantastic and a big morale booster for the club. After that game, we took on Rochdale, and it was a 2-0 victory for us in that game. And then we took on Seaham and got a 7-0 victory over them and this was with Ashley Charles getting sent off in the 8th minute we still got a 7-0 victory over them fantastic performance from us there and then it was a 6-0 victory this time it was over Dunstan and then we took on a another Premier League side I believe yes Huddersfield our Premier League side and we unfortunately lost two to nil. But it was a very hard fought match. And we certainly made them earn their victory in that. And then our final preseason game was a 5 1 victory over Murpeth Town. So we. Had a fantastic preseason. The players are in high spirits to kick off the season. And we are looking to open up with a victory over Brighton today. So, season preview. We are projected to come in 23rd place. Just one place above Salford. Of course, I believe that was the same exact projection last year. And both of us... Definitely overachieved. We barely missed off on the playoffs and they came in like mid table. 15th, so just below mid table, but we've been overachieving together for years and I'm confident we will not be relegated this year and hopefully we can sneak into the playoffs this season. Um,. We've definitely added to our squad, and we haven't lost anyone. So hopefully we can make that step up. 
and hopefully Salford can step up along with us as it has been fantastic to see the club joining our journey along the way. So, taking a look at the team who will be starting today. In goal, we have Callum Burton. Left back is Miles Kinlock. Our center back partnerships today is Owen Nuga and Uda Sina. Mark Taylor has joined us for another season on loan, but he does have a knock, and so he will not be starting. He will be on the bench. Right back is Daly Campbell. Our center midfield duo is Adam Good and Ashley Charles. And attacking midfielder today is Fletch Sharp as Dean Hunt is suspended for this game after getting a red card at the end of last season. Our left inside forward is Gasco. And our right sided inside forward is Ian Carlo Paveda, who is our most capped player for the club now. He actually took that record over from Jonathan Flat, who is still with the club. And our striker for today is Mick Gowan. So without further ado, it is time to kick off the season. We are away at Brighton. It looks like a packed out Amex Stadium today. It should be a fantastic atmosphere. Let's see if we can get these three points. We've started off the past seasons very well. Hopefully we can continue that today. All right, we are on the ball early. Campbell, can you get the cross in? He does. It gets cleared out, kind of, but it doesn't get fully cleared out, and it eventually gets to good at the top of the box, and he should have done better there. We know he's capable of scoring, but his shot goes just wide. And now Brighton have a throw in 10 minutes into the game. It's an own goal. Oh, we actually... Get extremely lucky. They get called for offsides. Ooh, yes. Thankfully, it is offsides because Oaniga has put that into his own goal. Let's see if we can uh, step up here a little bit. Brighton are on the ball once again. And I'm a bit nervous as they look like they are hungry for a victory today. And... How is that? A corner. Definitely looked like they kicked that out off of their challenge, but it looks like we cleared out the corner and we survive and we are not on the ball. We throw it away off of our throw in and they're through on goal. And Ko Dong Jin opens up the scoring for Brighton. Ah, uh, not a good start for us here. Kenlock, you gotta throw it in better. Odessina misjumps that, and their player is through on goal. Ah, not a great start for us. And this is always going to be a tough game for us, as Brighton were relegated from the Premier League last season, so they have immense quality, and they almost get their second, but Burton comes up with a big save, but they're on the ball outside of our box, looking dangerous. Trying to look for a breakthrough, but we eventually clear that out. But once again, Brighton are on the ball. Can we get on it? We do get on the ball here. Ashley Charles plays it up to Paveda. Charles back on the ball, plays it over to Gasco, and he opens up his goal scoring for the club on his debut. Absolutely took that incredibly. Charles sees him making that run. He gets past the right back, and he fires it home first time on his left foot. Very good goal from Gasco. That is what we want to see from the young player. We're on the ball once again. Gasco plays it over to Charles. Can he get a shot off? He does, and that one goes wide. I thought that one was going to ripple on the back of the net but it doesn't this time. 
but we've definitely come to life here after conceding, and that is the response we were looking for. Poveda beats his man, and he's cutting inside, but he gets tackled. He probably should have passed it there. Now, Brighton are looking to counter us. And, jeez, Burton mistimes his jump and completely misses the ball. Thankfully, their player is offside because that was a huge mistake from our goalkeeper, Burton, there. Just completely missed the ball, and that was the easiest of headers for the offside's player. It's been definitely a sloppy first game, plenty of mistakes from us, which is concerning as we were not making these mistakes in preseason. But we are on the ball now. Kinlick on the left-hand side plays it in the McGowan, who has a shot, and it was going to take something very special to score from there. Brighton looking for a goal here, right before halftime, and how is that a penalty? What? Surely that was a clean tackle. Brighton are stepping up for their penalty. And James Tarkowski fires at home past Burton. I'm a bit skeptical about that penalty call. I'm not sure about that. Kinlock with an absolutely big mistake if it was a penalty. And I think we're going to sub him off at halftime because he's sitting on a 6.1. That's not, not good at all. Could we possibly get a goal back right before halftime? McGowan has a great opportunity to do it, and he fires it home. Come on. Good ball in from Daly Campbell, and McGowan gets past his man, and he fires it home near post, and that is what we want to see from our main threat. Great ball in, and McGowan takes that beautifully. Come on, Mariners. What a response from the boys. Let's just get to halftime here, guys. Well, unless you want to score, I'm, I'm good with that. Let's just not concede. Paveda plays it in the sharp. Plays it over to good. And, oh, good. You don't have your goal-scoring boots on today. Ah, oh, that should have been our third goal. But I think we are going into halftime. And it's deadlocked at two apiece. A very thrilling first half to the opening game. Kimlock, not, not a good first half though. You will be getting subbed off for sure. We will bring on Gordon Barris for a debut here to take your place at left back. Come on, you Mariners. Let's see if we can get the victory here. Definitely some promising stuff from us. Also some very concerning stuff from us. But we are on the ball off of a throw-in. Ah, oh, good! Once again, has a great opportunity to get on the goal sheet. But he fires it wide and we are going to make a substitution i think we will bring on tommy doyle for good and see if he can make some magic happen for us here in the last 30 minutes or so and whew, burton didn't look super confident with that save but we did enough to keep that out And Brighton with a corner now. Oh, Barris clears it off the line. Burton hasn't looked super good. Who was that? Sh they should have got the ball, and they instead they just made no effort. That's aggravating. And we are going to make a substitution. We're going to bring on Luke O'Connell for Gasco. He isn't quite 100%, as mentioned. He was away at the U19 Euros, 
So we're going to bring on Luke O'Connell for the last 15 minutes or so of this game. Let's see if we can get our third goal and snatch a winner here. Brighton with a goal kick. Owenega just misses the ball by not jumping at all. And thankfully Burton is able to keep out their striker. But that was poor from Owenega. But we're on the ball. Doyle gets it. And he gets the goal. Come on, you Mariners. What a beautiful ball in from Karen McGowan, who spots Doyle making a fantastic run. And he doesn't miss there. Good. Probably would have. But Doyle gets a goal. And we're going to park the bus for the last four minutes of this game. Come on. Look at this play. McGowan holds it up well. And he spots Doyle making a fantastic run. And he gets the goal. Come on. This is what we want to see from us. Absolutely ecstatic. I'm absolutely buzzing. Please keep this out. Please. We just got to stop this. That's a goal kick from the Mariner somehow. And surely the ref's going to blow for full time. Any second now. And there it is. We get the three points with a come from behind victory. We get a goal in the 90th minute from our substitute, Tommy Doyle. Absolutely buzzing with that performance. Come on. We start off the campaign with three points over Brighton. We are away. And I think this was probably a sold out crowd. Absolutely ecstatic with this game. And there it is, the league table after one game, sitting on three points. Southfood are also on three points. So how about that, media, predicting both of us to get relegated? But absolutely over the moon with that performance. So that is where this episode will be coming to an end. And I can already see where we'll be coming back for next episode. We will come back for our match against Salford. As tradition. We'll have it. But guys, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I post a new video. Until next time, it's been your boy, one four seven.